Hello there guys, my name is Chris Shadon, Crystal Bourne, but built for Theme Park News and welcome to a big Theme Park News room update where today we're going to be checking out the latest from Kennywood. Now, they made a big announcement yesterday on their Facebook page and it's a big announcement that I've wanted to talk about for a good few hours now and it's the announcement that they're removing four classic attractions. Now, the press release was put on their social media, on their Facebook yesterday like I mentioned and there was also a news outlet, uh, it's a news sort of online version of Radio Pittsburgh, uh, which released an article about this. And I've actually, what I've done is done a Google Maps image, and I've taken circles of all four attractions, and sort of share my thoughts about what's going to happen with that whole area, because I think if you rip all four of them attractions out, you get a pretty decent sight here. So before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. We are getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers and also getting closer and closer to half a million views, which is brilliant. And um, let's keep watching those old videos, guys. We've got plenty more content coming over the next 12 months. It's going to be a very, very busy 2021 and you guys are going to be absolutely ecstatic for what we've got to share with you guys. So... Um, we also have a big video coming tomorrow as well. Um, I'm going to be doing my 2020 theme park season review. Now, I know there's not much to review, but there is still some stuff to catch up on that we have to sort of recap over the year and uh, talk about the big issues, of course, which are caught, you know, the big C word, uh, which is going to be a, a big talking point in that video. So we're still doing a season review, and then 2021, we are still doing a season preview. Uh, that is the plan anyway, so we're going to be moving forward with all of that, or I might stick to a season review, so stay tuned for that tomorrow, which is going to be a big video, and um, for now guys, let's get straight into it, so before we go into my Google Maps image, and look at all four attractions, and where they would go, and where they were removed, let's have a look at more in depth into the article about the removal of these four new, these op four classic Horizon attractions at Kennywood. So the article comes from Radio Pittsburgh and it says that in a statement posted on Facebook, Kennywood announced that several of its iconic rides will be retired. These include the Kangaroo, Paratrooper, Bion Curve and Volcano, which is their Huss Enterprise ride. In the statement, Kennywood said they are always looking for ways to evolve the park. Now an official statement from the park said part of the evolution is a continuous examination of the sustainability, capacity and popularity of our attraction lineup. As part of that process, the following rides are being retired. Kangaroo, Paratrooper, Bion Curve and Volcano. While these attractions have created countless special memories for our guests and team members over the years, we have determined the best path forward this time is to say goodbye. We hope that you will join in cherishing the memories with these rides and we look forward to adding new attractions that create new moments to treasure in future seasons. Now they did release a video on their social media which also... Uh, sort of highlighted these removals and the fact that they are just, you know, these historic attractions, absolutely historic attractions that have been removed from the park. And, you know, it just feels, it, I mean, for, for the sort of antique fans of Kennywood, should we say, the ones that sort of feel the most sense of loss with uh, the these removals uh, are going to be absolutely gutted uh, with these removals. And, um, of course, in terms of taking other stuff from it, um, it goes into really the Google Maps image that I created, and it's sort of in the. If you sort of think of why they're doing this, it clears a big room in the middle for an expansion, so they could, basically they can uh, move other attractions around. Um, but in terms of if they can relocate these attractions, I mean, it should be interesting to see if they can. Uh, but I think we're looking very likely here that it is going to be the end of all four of these rides. There won't be any relocations around the rest of the park. There may be relocations to other parks, but for now, at least in Kennywood, I think with all four of these rides, it is unfortunately the end of the road. So looking at the Google Maps image already on your screen, I've highlighted the volcano, the buying curve, uh, the paratrooper and the kangaroo. Now the kangaroo, of course, right next opposite Old Mill. And you can see the Johnny Rockets restaurant. I think that could go as well. Or they could work around it. You never know. And, I mean, you're probably looking at that site thinking, roller coaster, roller coaster, roller coaster. I'm saying, hang on a minute. They just got Steel Curtain just a couple of years ago now. Well, it will be a couple of years in 2021. 
um, it was 2019 when this opened, so I was like, well, hang on a minute. Don't go too far in depth with this, because Steel Curtain was only invested in in 2019. So I wouldn't go too far with that. I would look at it and say, well, hang on a minute. This is a pretty decent site for some kind of water ride or a dart ride or something like that. Um, I think a water ride would be a good fit for the parks. I think that something like one of the Intamin concepts, like the Giga Splash or the Ultra Splash, would be a great concept to put in the park. Um, and I think it would fit the whole site really well. So you'd rip out uh, the Johnny Rocket, you'd rip out the, the circular building next to the paratrooper. Um, so you'd rip out surrounding parts of the area as well. And I think it would be a really nice sort of area of the park. Uh, maybe something like a Mac water coaster would be good for the park. Something like what Negloland in France are doing uh, with Krampus Expedition for 2021. So again, that's not a bad investment. If you were going to go on the coaster route, I would probably say an RMC Raptor because I think they're nice compact thrill coasters for Kenny, especially for a park like Kennywood. Uh, so I think that a custom layout Raptor coaster would fit very, very well in that whole entire area. And um, in terms of a theme, I would go along a similar theme to Old Mill, especially with being Old Mill being opposite the kangaroo attraction. I think that the theme of Old Mill will be a very out there theme to use. And I think the theme is sitting there right in front of them. So um, there's many different routes that could go down, whether it be water ride, dart ride, coaster, uh, an expansion, maybe a whole themed area of rides and attractions for families and thrill seekers. So like a family thrill ride package. Uh, in that area, so like new f uh, old flat rides being taken out for new ones. So it would be interesting to see what they would do with that, but I'm very excited for the future. There we go, that is looking at the removal of these four rides and attractions. Now, obviously, rest in peace to the kangaroo, the bion curve, the volcano, and the paratrooper, but the future could be very exciting. We could potentially see a 2022 2023 investment on this site, and you know, this is the ever revolutionising uh, sort of thought process of Kennywood. And, you know, they're going to want to try and evolve. They're going to want to try and get bigger and better with the rising attractions they're adding into the park. And, you know, like I said, whether it's water ride, dart ride, flat rides package, roller coaster, that's it. This is a big site to work with. You know, even if it's a compact thrill coaster, this is a big site to work with. And especially if you take out the Johnny Rockets uh, sort of dining area. And you take out um, the circular building next to the paratrooper as well. You saw it on your screen. It wasn't circled in, but you sort of see like a circular building sort of next to it. Um, I reckon you could rip that out as well. And I think you've got themselves a pretty decent site in the middle of the of, uh, in the middle of all of this. So, you know, I think the flat rides being taken out is clearing a lot of room for middle ground expansion. And to be fair, whether it is an expansion of flat ride packages. Whether it's a water ride, a new dart ride, or a brand new roller coaster, I think we're looking at a pretty big investment for Kennywood. Uh, so there we go. Thank you very, very much for watching this theme park newsroom update from Kennywood. Uh, stay tuned uh, for more more videos over the next few days, including tomorrow's theme park season review for 2020. Um, go and check out the other video we uploaded today. Uh, which is reviewing the monorail at Alton Towers. You can stay tuned to watch that video. We've pre-recorded more reviews from Alton Towers. Rita, Spinball, uh, they're all pre-recorded, raring and ready to go. Uh, we've got a next five years video pre-recorded, but I'm not going to release that until I've recorded the one that was answered in the poll as the one you guys wanted to see next. So I'm going to film that one and then release the uh, Canada's Wonderland one afterwards, after that one's come out. So there's two next five years videos technically raring and ready to go. There's a lot of videos raring and ready to go. Uh, so thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park news update. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, my name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coast of life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.